And with that thumbs up, we start this match in three, two, one, go! And with that, all six of our robots venture into the sandstorm of planet Primus. That means that we are going to have a slight edge for the Red Alliance. One robot on the Red Alliance starting with the level two platform. Meaning they earn six points for crossing the hab line instead of just three like their partners on level one. As our sandstorm clears, we can see that right off the bat, Ice Princesses of the Blue Alliance beginning to try to play some defense to slow Ponage down. Ponage, a highly competitive robot, ranked 24, hoping for a last minute bump here at the end of our day. They have a cargo pod in their possession. They're trying to bring it into the cargo ship. Unfortunately, as they put it into the cargo ship, it rolls to the right and joins a cargo bay already with a pod inside. While the cargo ship bays can hold more than one cargo, they will only be scored for one. That second cargo pod will not help out the Red Alliance and its score. On our Blue Alliance, Crobotics and Caxis working together to score points while Ice Princesses continues to play defense. Crobotics with a hatch panel lining up to place that hatch panel on the lower level of the Blue Alliance rocket. Caxis working on the middle bay of the cargo ship. Both robots are able to successfully score for a combined five points. Less than one minute to go in our Blue Alliance with just an edge of four points. Our Red Alliance working hard. Griffins with a hatch panel lining up to a Red Alliance rocket. The Mavericks going up to a loading station. It looks like they are going to try to grab a hatch panel. They're struggling to line up just right, getting some coaching from a human player. Their second try and they've got it. With that buzzer, we are close to our end game period. Robots begin to get ready for that time. Ice Princess is already on the level one platform of the Blue Alliance half for three points. 15 seconds to go. Griffins of the Red Alliance on level one for three points. It looks like Ponage and the Mavericks are going to choose to just continue scoring with hatch panels and cargo pods as we come to the end of our match. Like a Blue Alliance victory, they take home the win by six points, 46 to 40 for your Blue Alliance. That's going to keep 59-34 in that number three spot as teams finish up their qualification matches here at this.